Welcome to Realistic Renovations Refinishing. Uh, so right now we are the next step, which is paint the walls and ceiling. Uh, basically all the painting. So we're using Kills 2 All Purpose. So this is a primer that we've used multiple times, both in this house and the other house we have. It dries fast. Uh, Basically, it's real nice. I like it. Uh, if you have any stains on the wall, it, it covers the stains, keeps it from coming over or coming through, and it uh, basically eliminates smells too. Uh, the guy who owned this house before us actually smoked a lot in it, and we painted this. We painted the whole interior in this, and then turned around and painted it the regular color we have, and it really, really block a smoke smell. So it really works. Uh, I like it. I wouldn't suggest it for anybody. They're not paying me to do this. Uh, I just, I've always liked this stuff. Uh, the last house I did it as well in the basement and everything like that. So it was real good. Um, we are using this again. I'm not affiliated with these, but we are using an air sprayer. This will be the first Time we've ever used one uh, a friend of ours has one he was gonna loan us one but they're so cheap I can't exactly remember how much we paid for it but it wasn't that expensive and the fact of if I need to paint anything else in the house or any kind of furniture this will come in handy it'll make it a lot nicer finish and it'll be a lot easier than rolling and paintbrush and everything like that so we will be painting everything with this minus like the little trim work around there and everything like that we'll be painting something different or we painting with brush or roller uh <clears throat> so again the walls have been cleaned the next step is basically paint so cue to time lapse at least first part of it primer See you then. So we tried the sprayer and because the primer is so thick, we had to mix it with water and it still was too thick to go through the sprayer very well. Now you watch me do all this. You can still see the gray through it up in the ceiling, everything like that. That's uh, not, uh, we should have been a full coat through all that stuff, but it doesn't. That's probably like two coats. Uh, so we're going to end up switching to good old trusty roller and paintbrush. Probably a lot quicker. Uh, side note, when we do spray the regular thing, I made this. This right there just covers up the light. So when you spray, you don't spray the light. All it is is a stick with a tape roll. We're not sponsored, but that's what it is. Basically the bottom of one of these. It's that piece right there. It fits perfectly on all the six inch canister lights. And we got this idea from when we uh, had some painters paint the outside of our house before we left our last house. Uh, basically, it's just a trim piece to keep it from going all over everything. Now, granted, there was, still was a lot of overspray, but that's my fault. Uh, but it keeps a nice line, especially when it's like this. If you go to the ceiling, basically just put it up against that, spray the bottom, or vice versa, spray the ceiling. So, quick handy tool, nice. Put tape on the edge, that way it keeps it nice and crisp. You can just put more tape or peel that tape off and it'll be good. So on with a time lapse for actually roof painting this time.
Okay. Uh, priming's done. Uh, we kills everything. Ceiling, walls. Wish we could kills that. That's actually absolutely horrible looking. It makes how white the walls are, and they're not really white, it's like a light gray, really light gray. You'll notice when we paint the ceiling white, you'll actually see the difference between this white and the white we have that we're painting a ceiling. Uh, that's just god ugly. That is so bad. That's what color it used to be. So again, the guy who lived here before smoked in his garage, smoked in the house, so every turn, everything turned this color all the walls and nicotine and everything like that stuck to it. Jill started to clean that stuff, but I think what we're gonna do is cut panels to put in there. Uh, they're white on the backside. They're uh, reflective on the inside to keep some of the heat out. But we do plan on getting, uh, or we do have all the light, the bezels and stuff like that for the lights. So first step, paint the ceiling before we paint the walls and if nobody if you don't really know when you start painting the ceiling splatter goes down onto the walls and you have to turn around and repaint the walls again or paint all the touch-ups stuff like that we're just starting with the ceiling make it easy work your way from the top down uh, obviously for it just looks like ass paint stuff all over it We'll do something with this. We'll scrub it all down, uh, get all the paint and the residue off of it. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Uh, it was almost like tar the guy had in here. We'll clean up the floor eventually. Uh, but first things first, start with the ceiling. So, more painting. At least it's not sanding now. So, see you then. Time for a break. I uh, just want to show you the difference on the color. So hopefully it'll show up on the camera. See the difference right there versus right there. So a better way, you have the, the bleed marks on that. Uh, there we go. Bleed marks on that. The difference of the color, it's not a whole lot, but it is gonna be a lot whiter. So this the kills is more like a really light gray like i was saying where this color we use is ultra white uh, so it's gonna make it even brighter in here now granted we are painting the walls a little bit darker gray than this not too not too dark but that's what i was worried about being super bright get a lot of bright uh light down onto the cars and onto whatever we're doing in here we will be changing out all these bulbs though uh they're glass bulbs they get really hot uh, i've noticed they weren't too expensive uh, but we're gonna end up putting ones in that are a little bit brighter same daylight hue and they're gonna spread the light out not just straight down but over to the sides and everything like that so when we put the lights in we'll show you before and after especially when we put the uh, bezels around the outside will make it a lot more bright. Uh, so, until we start again, we do wrap our paint brushes and roller in plastic bags, so keep it nice and uh, basically fresh. I'll put the cap back onto that, I'll wash that off, uh, that way it doesn't dry out at all. And, and about maybe half an hour again, we'll uh, start painting. Hello, uh, right now we've gotten the ceiling done. So ceiling's done, the lights are in, the fixtures around the lights are in. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, you can see it. So the fixtures around the lights, uh, you have the, uh, plug and everything done. I still need to do the molding, which we're gonna do after the cabinets because the cabinets that we do, well, you can see that one's not painted yet or that wall's not painted yet. That one is second coat up until right there where the ladder is. 
This was the second coat and I still need to do behind here. I did prime this, it's waiting to dry. I'll paint it tomorrow along with that and paint that and finish that on Thursday. Uh, so I gotta put the wall plates on this side. Uh, I'll do it probably tomorrow. Uh, these wall plates on this wall and this wall minus the switches right there, uh, those will all be behind cabinets and tile and everything like that. So we won't really mess with those until we get the tile and the cabinets up. Uh, that right there is gonna go inside a cabinet along with that one and there's one at the base of this wall that's gonna go in a cabinet. That one's gonna have all my charging, my uh, chargers in for like these. Uh, that way that's there, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, that one's for the TV. That one's for the compressor. That one's for anything I have on that table. Uh, those are for lights that are basically in the cabinets, uh, under the cabinets and such. Uh, same with this one over here. So, now we haven't been using the, the uh, sprayer that we were planning on. Uh, it's taken too long to do that. I've noticed it's good for smaller things. Uh, a lot of contours and stuff like that. I'll do it easy, uh, do it evenly as well. Uh, something this size, we just figured a roller would be better. Plus I don't have to worry about basically any kind of overspray going on this, the car, these things, the uh, water heater, stuff like that. I don't have to worry about overspray going every, everywhere. Plus, we noticed when we were painting that wall, I got overspray on the handles and stuff. Even though I had that piece there, that sprayer is more for small projects, not something this size. Uh, we do a lot of furniture as well a lot of stuff uh, some of the stuff in the house you'll see in other videos uh, but it, it just wasn't worth it plus when we do those we do it outside we don't have to worry about overspray it gets in the grass don't have to worry about it, it gets blown everywhere else but where we're at um, so tomorrow I finish up painting uh, I'll probably end up doing a second coat on that as well. As soon as I come home, start working on that, do the second coat on, or the first coat on that, do a second coat tomorrow. I'd like to finish it tomorrow, Wednesday, I guess it would be. Uh, and then this weekend, start putting up cabinets. That wall first. That's where the TV's gonna be, and that's where another neat idea that we have uh, countertop idea. Uh, you guys have to wait and see what that does. See what that looks like. Enjoy. Uh, again, see you tomorrow and go ahead and cut the time lapse for tomorrow. Okay, so the walls are painted, ceiling's done. We got the lights in. Uh, trim work for the lights, everything like that, the canisters, bezels and stuff. I uh, did it about the garage door. The garage door, we're gonna do something that's a little bit, we haven't figured out yet. Uh, we may end up just replacing this later on, but right now it's not too hot. Uh, it doesn't bother us too bad, um, but that's pretty much it. So these and these, aren't in yet because cabinets are gonna go in front of it. So we haven't put the uh, cover plates like I have here or around the rest of the garage. But other than that, it's uh, pretty much done. So, it's done. No, 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 where are you going? Don't look at the army surplus AC unit. You can look at it. That's a piece of crap. So we're going to end up replacing this eventually. I didn't want to go and do anything around, like I said before. Couldn't do anything around that. Trim it in. 
when they replace this, they'll end up replacing all this. So it is, it does look like a army surplus reject of an AC unit. It is, I believe, 13 years old, which. Knock on AC, wood, you got plenty of it, so it doesn't blow up. In a AC terms, it's pretty freaking old. So we've been, we've already had to mess with it twice. Uh, once for the outside portion, once for in here. Keeping it going as much as we can until it, it dies up and we'll get a new one. Better one, hopefully a better color than shit green, but whatever. <laughs> That's what it is. On a side note, the uh, obviously I still need to paint right around there, but that's not a big deal. That blends in pretty well with the wall. It wasn't planned that way, but it's almost identical color. So what do you think about changing it to the identical color? No, you're gonna paint it? No? No. Well, Jill, did help me paint the the uh the wall over here and the wall back here and up there yesterday so high five on that one good job high five on that one <laughs> <laughs> really high five on that one no, no. <laughs> cut a little bit short did you cut a little bit short right there right there okay Stop. okay high five <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, guys, if you liked it so far, again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, anything will help. Also, next will be cabinets for this wall, which we have in the truck outside. Uh, we'll be starting that installation here in the next video. And uh, basically, we still have to put that in for the TV and everything like that. And then uh, basically we have, we'll have the wall done. We are gonna do a lot more to this wall and then we'll head up with the back wall, which is basically cabinets here, cabinets across the top, all the way. And uh, again, thank you for joining us. If you'd like to subscribe and hit the bell. Again, thank you. See you guys later. <laughs>